Under properties, I'm setting the stage name to prod and the definition URI to the relative path of my swagger.yaml file. Consider this. You want to deploy a REST API using a Swagger definition file to AWS. Can you do this in a few steps using AWS SAM and Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then scroll down to the code source section. Click on test, then hit invoke to execute your Lambda function, then confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response output. Next, let's head to the API gateway service, click on create API, then hit build in the REST API section. Give your API a name, hit create, then choose create method from the actions dropdown. Choose get, make sure the integration type is set to lambda function, then select the lambda function that we just created. Hit save, then click on the test button to test your get method and confirm that you see hello from lambda in the response body. Now that our API is working as expected, let's deploy it by going to the actions dropdown then hit deploy API. I'm going to call my deployment stage prod, hit deploy, then click on the invoke URL to confirm that I see hello from Lambda in the browser's output. Next, head to the export tab, then click on the YAML button under Swagger plus API gateway option to download the Swagger definition file. I'm going to save this file on my desktop and rename it to swagger.yaml. Next, let's open the swagger.yaml file and change the title to my test API 2 since we already have my test API in our API gateway. Save this file, then navigate to the Cloud9 service, then hit create environment. Give your environment a name, leave everything else to their default values, then hit create. Click on open Cloud9 IDE, then right click on the parent folder and create a new folder called SAM. Under SAM, I'm going to create another folder and call it my API. Next, let's drag and drop our swagger.yaml file and save it under my API folder. Now, it's time to bring in our template.yaml file. On line four, I'm defining a resource called MySAM API, which is of the type AWS Serverless API. Under properties, I'm setting the stage name to prod and the definition URI to the relative path of my swagger.yaml file. Let's save our template.yaml file under the same folder, then navigate to the bash terminal. Type the cd or change directory command to go inside the SAM folder, then run the ls or list command to confirm that you see my API folder and the template.yaml file. Let's validate our template.yaml file by running the SAM validate command. Looks like our template is valid. If there were any errors, this is where it would show up. Next. Let's run the same package command with hyphen hyphen output dash template dash file option. I'm also going to specify an S3 bucket where an archive version of our API can get uploaded. Seems like our SAM package command was successful. We can also confirm this by opening the output template file and verifying that the definition URI is now pointing to the S3 bucket. Next, let's copy paste the same deploy command and give our stack a name. I'm also going to specify a capabilities option with a value of capability underscore IAM so that CloudFormation has permissions to create basic IAM roles. Give it a few minutes for the deployment process to complete 
You can also monitor the progress by going to the CloudFormation service. Looks like our stack was successfully created. Let's confirm this by going to the API Gateway service, then go inside My Test API 2. Select Get and confirm that you see My Swagger Test Lambda function integrated with your Get method. Click on the Test button to confirm that the integration with the Lambda function is working as expected. Looks like we're getting an internal server error. Scroll down to the bottom of the logs so we can get to the root cause. Looks like our Lambda function has invalid permissions. Let's confirm this by going back to the Lambda window, then head to the Configuration tab. Click on Permissions in the left menu, then scroll down to the Resource Space Policy Statement section, then click on the Statement ID. It seems like the source ARN is still pointing to the old API. Let's update it by clicking on Edit. Let's copy paste the source ARN of our new API, then hit Save. Go back to the API Gateway tab and hit Test again. This time, you should see Hello from Lambda in the response body. Finally, if you wanted to delete your CloudFormation stack and all its resources, head back to the CloudFormation window and click on Delete. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the AWS SAM developer start a band?